Here tonight in Fukuoka, this is the show where we talk about local topics in Fukuoka, the hottest city in Japan. Here are tonight's headlines. Fukuoka Prefecture residents are normally in good spirits. What is the source of this mood? The reasoning is unexpected. Introducing our new project, Meanings. Our completely serious guide to the true meanings of the English words often used in Fukuoka. Oshieta Fukuoka is the special where we invite celebrities in Fukuoka to explain the cultures of Fukuoka in English. Tonight's special guest is Goriken. We'll be right back after these messages. Good evening. This is World Fukuoka News. I'm Samuel Troy. And I'm Catherine Kafari. And here is our first story. Fukuoka residents are always on a high, it turns out, because they have been ingesting large amounts of one thing. Pierre Dupuy has the report. Citizens of Fukuoka love festivals and have bright and cheerful personalities. But just what is the source of their energy? The answer is soy sauce. People from Fukuoka put soy sauce on everything. Whatever the food, they'll say it's delicious if it tastes like soy sauce. They always assert that Fukuoka's soy sauce is the best in Japan. But what gives them such strong conviction? The answer lies in the way people from Fukuoka eat sashimi or raw fish. When people from Fukuoka eat sashimi, they slather it with so much soy sauce that anyone watching would recoil in shock. There's even a proverb in Fukuoka that says, eat the fish to taste the soy sauce. Mr. Kazutomo Nagashima is the owner of Nakamaru Soy Sauce in Munakata City. After eating sashimi in Tokyo, he was apparently told the following. So why exactly do people from Fukuoka Prefecture douse their sashimi with so much soy sauce? We tend to think of all the soy sauces as being the same, but there are actually many distinct varieties. Mr. Daiichi Ohama is one of only three soy sauce sommeliers worldwide. According to him, the salt content is the biggest difference between Fukuoka soy sauce and generic soy sauces. ニパーセントしか違わないというふうにこう数字で見ると小さいんですが、海の海水が塩分が三パーセントです。海水しょっぱくて飲めないと思います。ニパーセント三パーセント変わると、ガクンと塩味が下がるんですね。なので、いつもの
逆に工業地帯に行くと少し塩味が高い方がやっぱり美味しいと塩味を上げてほしいというところもあると思います。福岡プリフェクチャー、a place where soy sauce is dearly adored in this way, is experiencing a situation that transcends our common sense. I return to Mr. Nagashima of Nakamaru Soy Sauce, the man who was once scolded for eating soy sauce incorrectly in Tokyo. He has created a soy sauce specifically for foods you wouldn't usually put it on. Soy sauce for bread. This is a story of 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 a It's not salty. It's sweeter and kind of closer to honey than it is soy sauce. After producing some samples, he soon discovered that he could capture the hearts of the citizens of Fukuoka Prefecture because they loved anything that tasted like soy sauce. After discovering this, he began developing various kinds of soy sauce. So, now, the yogurt kake shoyu is a good thing. その後がチーズその後パスタでカルパッチョチーズかけ醤油これオリーブオイルですエキストラバージンオイル入れてますだからまあ結構シンプルな味でこれでパンにかけた方が美味しいと思う He suggests that although he developed a soy sauce especially for bread he recommends pouring some soy sauce for cheese onto your bread パスタかけはガーリックオイルが入ってますこれであのチーズ食べても美味しいですあのさっきのチーズはどういうことになるのじゃわかんないもう。The soy sauce inventor begins to show signs of confusion However, Fukuoka citizens love of anything that tastes like soy sauce surpassed even Mr. Nagashima's expectations They started adding his soy sauces to just about anything パンかけ醤油をあの食べてヨ,ヨーグルトにかけて美味しかったよという人が結構あったのでもうちょっとジャムに寄せていこうと思って作ったのがヨーグルトかけ醤油でこれリンゴ果汁が入ってますこっちはリンゴ果汁とプラスアルファブドウ果汁が入ってますもうだから醤油じゃないですよねこれ<笑>醤油じゃないものを醤油と言ってごめんなさい Take a look Talking about soy sauce puts him on such a high that he can't tell the difference between soy sauce and jam. This is precisely the phenomenon we often see with people from Fukuoka. As we end our episode, I leave you with an English rendition of the original song created by Mr. Nagashima The Requiem of Soy Sauce for Bread. World Fukuoka News. I'm Pierre Dupuy. On the bridge! Let's put it on pancake shoyu. It's delicious. Put it on the bread. One more piece of bread I want. So sweet and delicious pancake shoyu. Did you know that soy sauce has a different taste in different regions? Actually, you know, when I first came to Japan, I didn't know that.、Right. Um, and I tried the soy sauce here in Fukuoka, and I was like, hey, soy sauce tastes so much better in Japan, like better than what I was used to back in America. And、uh, then I traveled to Tokyo, and I had some soy sauce.、So、I was like, hey, this is our soy sauce. It's the soy sauce from America. So I think the kind of soy sauce that's popular in America maybe is more like the Uh, the saltier version. So、right. maybe I was impressed by the, with the,、uh, the Fukuoka soy sauce. Yeah. I see. I'll, I'll try that. That's not the first choice I'd go for, but I'm definitely <laughs> up for trying it. That's pretty good. It does add a bit of sweetness to the yogurt. Yeah. It doesn't taste like soy sauce, that's for sure. No, it doesn't taste like soy sauce at all. Actually, the taste of the yogurt's more. Stronger than the soy sauce, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's a really like a very mild, salty taste、yeah. followed by a sweeter aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take another bite with more soy sauce. Yeah. Next is a new project, Meanings. 
What is the true meaning of some English words often heard in Fukuoka? We invite a real expert to give a serious explanation. Our project this time aims to uncover the true meanings of the language that floods our streets. Until around 170 years ago, with the exception of a few European countries, Japan had limited interactions with other nations. In 1853, a US Commodore named Matthew Perry arrived in Japan, forcing it to open its borders to the world. The following year, the Japan-US Treaty of Peace and Amity was signed, leading to an influx of Western culture that quickly permeated Japan. One thing that also arrived was language. If you walk through the streets of Japan today, although you'll see a lot of English, most Japanese people are unaware of the original meanings. One example of language that has become a popular topic of discussion is the phrase Big Bang. Tenjin Big Bang is a large-scale redevelopment project aimed at revitalizing Fukuoka City's main shopping district, Tenjin. There are currently numerous buildings under construction in the area. Despite this, the people of Fukuoka are completely unaware of the original meaning of the English word Big Bang. Big Bang? K-pop? It's like a and so, for this inaugural episode of our brand new segment, Meanings, we will explain the term Big Bang without using any ridiculous jokes or spreading any fake news. To find out some information, I paid a visit to the Fukuoka City Science Museum. Here, visitors can learn about and experience various things relating to space and the universe. The curator of the Fukuoka City Science Museum, Mrs. Kayoko Tanno, will explain the details of the Big Bang to our viewers. Please go ahead. I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed. To explain, I thought that the Big Bang was something that occurred from nothing. But there was actually a phenomenon that preceded the Big Bang, known as inflation. Inflation is the explosive expansion of a minute fluctuation so small it wouldn't have even been able to be observed under a microscope. The energy from expansion turns to heat, and the spread of that heat is what caused the universe that we see today. This phenomenon is the Big Bang. All of these events occurred in the mere fraction of a second. Even today, the universe continues to expand. If you trace the expansion back in time, you arrive at a single point. We could call this the origin of the universe. で、宇宙は広がっていく膨張している宇宙というのと宇宙は変わらないとこの 
それを聞いた周りの物理学者天文学者もですしガモフさんもその言葉いいねっていうことでその言葉を使い始めた。So how do new stars form in such a universe? 星というものもちゃんと一生がありまして。大きな星巨大な星はその最後は超新星爆発ということでもう爆発をして亡くなってしまいますで亡くなった後にそこにガスや塵が残ってその塵やガスが集まって次の世代の星が出てくるでその星もまた超新星爆発を起こすそこからまた次の世代の星が生まれてくるということで私たちの太陽も最初からあった星ではなくって数世代目の星だということが分かっています Like the collapse and rebirth of stars, the Tenjin Big Bang project involves the destruction. From now on, if anyone asks you to explain the details of the Tenjin Big Bang project, make sure you have a thorough understanding of the principles of our universe. World Fukuoka News, I'm Joel Jackson. Whoa, that was a lot. So, Catherine, have you heard about the Big Bang? You know, I, well, of course, yes, I've heard of both Big Bangs, right? The, the physical、uh, origin of the universe theory, Big Bang, and also the Fukuoka renewal project, Big Bang.、Uh, I did not know much about the physical explanation、uh, about the Big Bang. But I, I was impressed, though, that we promised a completely serious report, and it was, in fact, a completely serious report. Yes. Right, I was waiting for the joke until the very, very end, and it didn't come. Yes, but I think there's a joke in there. If someone asks you what the Big Bang is, and you have to explain, it's so hard to explain, that's the joke right there. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Coming up next is the special project Oshiete Fukuoka. This is the special segment where our guest explains in English one topic about Fukuoka. Tonight's guest is Mr. Gori Kang. Nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Gori Kang. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Coming back. So let's move straight on to tonight's topic. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, tonight's topic is Yanagawa City. Oh. Please explain. Yanagawa City is located in the southern part of Fukuoka Prefecture and is one of Fukuoka's most famous sightseeing spots. Yanagawa City is Fukuoka's、um, south, south,、uh, north,、huh? north, uh? south, 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 south. Fukuoka South City、oh. is Yanagawa. Okay. Okay.、Uh, look, look, looking point very, very ホットホットポイントベリベリメニメニベリベリベリメニベリベリワンメニメニベリベリフェイマスエリアルッキングサイトルッキングアンビリバボーアンビリバボーシティサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメニサイトメ A very、uh, small、uh, ship. A ship? Ship. ship? Ship's big. <laughs> ship. Even a small ship's pretty big. Small ship. Small ship. Small ship.、Uh, so a boat, maybe. A boat.、Uh, river, river down. River down, river down. Very popular,、uh, number one.、Uh, very Yanagawa city.、Uh, very famous food, delicious food.、Uh, unagi no seiro mushi. <laughs> What's that? Food? Do you know unagi? No.、Oh, no? What's unagi? What's...、Uh, snake and fish. <laughs> snake? Snake and, and fish. fish. Nuru nuru. Nuru nuru. Nuru nuru. Nuru nuru fish. No. Nuru nuru. nuru, nuru. Is that a,、so、a fish? famous kind of fish? A nuru nuru fish? Haimane fish. Haimane fish. Expensive fish? Yes, I、uh, expect.、Oh, really? Expensive fish.、Uh, uh, do you know、uh, sailor? Do... Do you say no? Uh, uh, sauna? Sauna? Yes. A sauna. Uh, sauna. Yes. Uh, sauna. Very, very hot sauna. It's like a sauna.、Oh. Yes. Be,、uh, okay. Haimane hai fish is unagi、yeah. in very hot sauna. Sauna,、mm. kitchen, sauna cook. Okay.、Mm. Mm. Do you mean like steam cook? Steam? Steam. Yes, 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 yes. Also,、oh, it's steam. You understand? Steam. Yes, yes. Okay. Steam cook. Cooking. Ah, steam、okay. cooking. Steam cooking、uh, fish. Right, okay. okay. Unagi. This rice, 
ライスローリングローリングジャパニーズソースタレライスオンザスチームウナギエンドエッグ禁止エッグ。<笑> What's a kinshi egg? Is that different from a chicken egg? Is that different? No, no, no. no.、あのー、for, for Japanese technology? Japanese, Japanese technology?、Mm. Okay. Uh, Japanese yes, technology. technology food.、Um, oh, a special、um. egg、okay. created by Japanese very, very technology. Very high quality, high quality、oh. uh, chef, chef. Like an AI chef? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Yanagashiti, very happiness month match. Mm. Why is that?、Uh, ah, March is Yanagawa City、uh, Hina Festival. Hina, Hina Festival. Hina Festival. Hina Festival. Do you know? No, no, no. Hina. What's that festival?、Mm. Mm. Girls Con- Congratulations Festival. Girls、oh. Congratulations. Yes,、uh, very old kimono, kimono chokishoki,、uh, hmm? kimono. 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 Old,、okay. old kimono. Like、old. a tr- traditional yes, yes. kimono? Yes, well,、uh, making a chef.、Um, a chef? Ch- ch- cut, 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 cut. Old kimono, cut, cut. A little, little, small doll. Okay. Okay. They make a doll from old kimonos. They cut up little, old kimonos. Yes, yes. Make a doll from old kimonos. Doll, doll, doll,、okay. kimono. And、uh, Yanagawa City, look, 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 look. Look, look, sagemo. Look, look, sagemo. This door, 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 door. Ah, door, 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 door. The dolls. The dolls. Are everywhere. On display. Anyway, well,、uh, like、sagemo. decorations. No, they're decorations. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Godiken san, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have. So thank you for coming in tonight, and、uh, we look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yanagawa City is located in the southern part of Fukuoka Prefecture and is one of Fukuoka's most famous sightseeing spots. The city is known as Suigo Yanagawa, meaning the city of water. The ruins of Yanagawa Castle are surrounded by waterways, where you can enjoy a popular sightseeing cruise down the canals in a small boat. One of the specialties of Yanagawa is Seiro Mushi, or steamed eel. The dish consists of a bed of rice coated with sauce and topped with broiled eel and shredded egg garnish and then steamed. The most exciting time to visit Yanagawa is in March, when Hina Matsuri, or the Girls' Festival, is held. During the festival, a variety of small dolls made from scraps of old clothes known as sagemon can be seen on display throughout the town. Now, moving on to tonight's Hakata Bay. When tourists from overseas come to Fukuoka, even if they speak Japanese, they might have a hard time understanding Hakata Ben and feel confused. Now, we will introduce tonight's useful Hakata Ben expressions for our foreign visitors. Tonight's Hakata Ben is Nashika. In normal Japanese, nashika means nothing at all. However, in Fukuoka it means why not? And is used when you are irritated with the other person. Now, please listen carefully.、Oh, I'm sorry, Catherine, but I forgot to buy the mucha manju you requested. Nashika! Well, I got off at Fujisaki because I fell asleep and missed the Nishijin stop. I bought some doriaki at the supermarket instead. Nashika! Kao nara kyabets to tamago to bacon yaro! And that's all for tonight's Hakata Bay. Coming up next time. Kita Kyushu, back to the land of Shura? We conducted a survey to find out which is the city's second major ward after Kokura Kita Ward. This led to outrage among the Yahata Nishi and Kokura Minami wards, stating that it is they that have the larger population. Moji Ward then became outraged itself. Insisting that it was they that had the most popular sightseeing spot, the Yahata, Higashi, Tobata, and Wakamatsu wards soon joined the fray, outraged that the others were outraged, leaving the city on the verge of a serious conflict. The next broadcast day hasn't been decided yet. World Fukuoka News. That's the way it is. You can now watch World Fukuoka News episodes on YouTube anytime, anywhere. 
You can see us from all over the world, including the United States, Asia and Europe. So everyone, please check it out.